What's your formula or process for telling a good story? You know, this is a really great question. Um, I think that storytelling, you know, I am not a verbal person, I am a visual person. And you constantly, if you're Steven Spielberg, uh, self edit before you even go out on the stage, you know, go on the, on, on the location. You already know what you want, bing, 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 bing. If you're really fortunate, I think, um, um, and I always used to say this when I was doing commercials, uh, you know, Ridley Scott builds a 180 foot wide set and when the, when the scene's over with, you look at it and they only use 12 feet of it, you know. Uh, he's got that luxury. In independent filmmaking, you don't have that luxury. And, 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 and quite frankly, you, you have to be intuitive enough to recognize what your, your quest is. And in storytelling, you know, is, is that scene really necessary where the little girl goes and knocks on the door and says, you know, um, hey, you want to come out and play? Uh, can we just cut to her, you know, already there? And, and then you start self-editing. And typically this is motivated by your desire to keep the story intact but be inventive. And we had to do that all the time, you know. Um, and, and I think especially having, um, even though Jen wrote the script, Joe Gamash, who is one of the producers, is also a writer, and he was able to, on the fly, help us simplify scenes, you know, that were sometimes over um, uh, complicated. And I'm not talking about the writing, I'm talking about having to shoot it from six angles. Um, and, and it's interesting because when you read or hear interviews like you're doing on me from great filmmakers, uh, typically, uh, especially someone like Clint Eastwood, will, will actually talk about the fact that why did that scene only come from one point of view? And he goes, that's all I needed. And, and even the actors complained. They wanted to, don't I get a close up, you know? And, and I thought to myself, it's, 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 Clint Eastwood's got a lot of balls, you know, to be able to wake up in the morning and just say no, you know? And it's, it's so funny because I'm always fascinated about reading about backstories about other filmmakers. And, you know, it takes a lot of guts and a lot of self-confidence to take the most dramatic scene in your movie. My last film, Girl on the Edge, there's a very climatic, dramatic moment where Peter Coyote is talking to Taylor Spritler, uh, the star of the film, and it's a very serious moment, and we just organically felt this isn't gonna be covered in, and be all handheld, and we'll do it from a, a couple moves on the fly, but we will not do new setups, we'll just keep filming. And that works for me, you know, and it worked for the film because from an editorial standpoint, you're not putting together five angles of emotions that are drifting. You know, one moment you might feel it's great to talk about this and get close, and the next take you might not. And, and that's, I think actors appreciate that, giving them the freedom to um, bring out storytelling in a, in a way that is more coming from their hearts.